What's the best way to memorize math formulas and math concepts? This is a really tough question, but I think the answer is that it varies for everyone. And there are certainly things that we can all do that will make memorization easier. So in this video, I wanna talk about how you can actually memorize math formulas and math concepts. And I'm going to give you actual examples of math formulas and math concepts and tricks for memorizing them. Because I think once you see how to memorize certain things, you can start to develop your own ways of memorizing things. I also wanna emphasize that the more math you study, the more differently you think about math. So the way that you might think about a certain concept is different than the way someone who is a graduate student in mathematics will think about that concept. So people's perspectives change based on how much knowledge they have. It's super important to know the math formulas and the concepts because you can build upon that. And even if you have a terrible memory, you can still memorize things and you can still learn math concepts and formulas by following these techniques. So first, let me just emphasize the importance of understanding, okay? So understanding the concepts behind the formulas is key. And if you understand the concepts, it makes memorization easier. Let me give you an actual concrete example of how understanding can help you memorize something. This is a really simple example. This is one from calculus. So if you know some calculus, um, you might understand this. And I'll make it brief. I won't go into like all the details. I'm just gonna give a very, very quick overview. Simple example, very simple. Calc one integral perhaps that you would study maybe around the third exam. So we have the integral of secant x with respect to x, right? So this is uh, an integral. You can memorize this formula. I have it memorized. It's the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. So this is a formula that you use in calculus. So how in the world do I know it? How am I able to write it down without looking at the formula? The answer is I have it memorized and it's because I understand it. So in order to do this problem, what you do is you multiply by one in a really clever way. And to me, this is so clever. So secant x plus tangent x over secant x plus tangent x. This is so clever that I always thought, wow, what a clever trick. Now when you multiply across, secant times secant is secant squared. I'll finish it quickly for those of you that know a little bit of calculus. And then secant times tangent is secant tangent. And then we'll move on to something else over and then here you have secant x plus tangent x. And now what you do is you make a u substitution. You let u be secant x plus tangent x. And then you take the derivative, so du. Well, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And then you put your dx here. And look, that's exactly what you have in your integral here. So this whole thing here that I circled is du. So it becomes du over u, du over u. So du over u is a very common formula. This is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. But we know what u is, and that gives us exactly what we have here. ln u, right, that's our u right here. And we have the answer. So because I know the trick, because I tell myself, oh yeah, I know how to solve the integral of secant. It requires this clever technique. I'm able to memorize the formula. So this is a, a good example, I think, of how understanding helps you memorize formulas. Now, I think, I don't wanna say it's unreasonable, but I think it's a lot to ask for people to be able to do this for every single formula, right? It takes time, it takes practice. You know, mathematics is, it's a learning process. It's a growth process. You get better at math over time and you get better at stuff like this. So that's one example though of, of understanding that how that will lead to, to memorization. Now there's other memory tricks that you can do, right? There's other things you can do that will help you with memorization, right? You have mnemonics, visualization. Oh, look, my orb broke, by the way. Let me just show you this. Look at this. Yeah, it came off. The orb of power is, let me put it back in his hands so he can continue to do his mathematics. But you can use mnemonics and other things like that to um, to help aid in memorization. For example, let me just give you 
uh, a, a couple of simple examples that I use. So just basic trig. Let's just go really back to basics here. So if you have like um, the cosecant of x, right? This is just a really simple one. Or if you have the secant of x, what is this equal to? These are just really fundamental trig identities. Well, the way I memorize it is cosecant, it's one over the one that starts with the other letter, so it's sine x. You see how I did that? So it's just like a, a little memory trick. Secant is one over the one that starts with the other letter, so it's cosine x. So little tricks, just switching the letters. Then you have stuff like, you know, the sine of pi over three. There is a mnemonic uh, to memorize the special values of the trig functions of the special angles, but uh, it takes a lot of time to write down. So what I do is I memorize this one, and then I know that the cosine of pi over three is the other one, it's one half. And these are the only tricky ones. And then from here, you can get the sine of pi over six because you know it has to be one of the two. Well, it's not square root of three over two, so it must be one half. And then the cosine of pi over six, well, that's gonna be the square root of three over two. So super, super powerful uh, techniques and little memory tricks like this will help you get better at memorizing math. Now, obviously, you can't do this for every concept, right? It's also good to understand, and there's different ways of memorizing this, right? You can think of a triangle and, you know, the lengths of the sides, and you can make an argument that way. There's all kinds of ways of memorizing things. People will often say, the best way to think about topic X, Y, Z is to do this, and I I'm, I'm guilty of saying that too, and I use the word guilty uh, in a negative connotation, uh, because sometimes it's not the best way. It's just the way that I do it, right? And to me, that's the best way because that's how that's how I memorize things. So another thing I want to talk about uh, with memorization is, so you have some concepts that you can memorize through understanding. We talked about that. I gave you the example of secant. You've got some concepts that you can memorize um, through little memory tricks, but you want to be able to implement these things. So practice, right? Practice problems are key, right? Practice problems are key. You actually have to do mathematics in order to get better at mathematics. And one thing I learned very early on in, in the first math class I took, which was um, the class like before a class called intermediate algebra. So we're talking like really, really basic math here, like super basic math. Our teacher taught us uh, some formulas. It was like the quadratic formula and, you know, the, the formula for the slope of the line, right? Remember the slope of the line, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the change in y over the change in x. And he told us every time you're doing a problem where you're finding the slope, so like you're given two points, 1 comma 2, 3 comma 4, always write the formula down every single time without looking at your book. And so I remember going home and sitting at the kitchen table at night. I was tired and I thought, wow, I got to get this homework done, right? Because, you know, I, I got to get, get a good grade. So every single homework problem where I had to find the slope, I would write the formula down. And I did the same thing for the quadratic formula. And so that's practice. And if you do that, if you write the formula down every single time you're doing a problem, it will help you. So, yeah, hopefully these tricks will, will help you. Um, get better at you know memorization. Uh, remember, you can memorize through understanding. You can memorize through little memory tricks with letters or symbols. I can go on and on and on. And I can give you all kinds of examples and and memory tricks for the mathematics I know. Right? There's all kinds of things in calculus like this: the product rule, the quotient rule. There's little tricks for all of those things, and you learn them and you develop them the more math you know. So. Yeah, I don't know, kind of a random video to talk about memorization. Do you have any memory tricks you use? I'm really interested in seeing um, what others uh, do when it comes to, to memory, right? Some people have really interesting techniques and sometimes people will tell me their memory tricks and I'm like, I don't really like that. And that's okay. The most important thing is that the memory trick works for you. But yeah, if you have any interesting memory techniques or anything like that or any tips that can help people memorize formulas or concepts, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Keep doing mathematics.